Yo, Vincent here. So Mihoi just dropped a lot of information regarding 1.2. So we're going to dive into this. I haven't looked at it, so I opened them in randomly different order. So this is the first page. This is, I'm guessing, the battle pass. Yeah, the, the BP, the BP stuff. So anything new with regarding this? Not that I know of. It seems like the same old, same old. Yep. All right. And now we have the Chalk Prince and the Dragon. So this is the event that's going to happen. You unlock special abilities of Festering Desire. Yes, we know that. Um, we can get some talent level up materials. Crown of Insight, which I was like, why did they change the name? Um, we have the Crown of Sagehood for the past event. And then now we have Crown of Insight. I don't know if they do different things, but we need to complete a Beto story quest, right? To unlock the event. And then during this, um, you will not require a story key to unlock. Oh. Okay, so the Albedo store quest does not require a story key. That's good. Uh, opening time after 1.2 update, right? Right, and you need a, at least an adventure rank 20 or above. Traveler may complete storyline to obtain exclusive weapon. Yes, we know that. After the Dragon's Fine era is unlocked, travelers can find the Rim Worn Fragments and Rhyme Worn Crystals and Dragon Spine. I'm assuming that's what you need to upgrade the Festering Desire, maybe? After Act 1 opens, collect Rim Worn Fragments and Crystals and complete the related quest to obtain, oh, okay, it's for prim Primal Gems, Mora, and other rewards. Enhance Festering Desire to obtain Weapon Essential Materials and other rewards. Oh, so if we enhance it, we also get rewards in return? Like an instant rebate? A. Hey. Uh, sure. Once event that you can no longer yield. Um, the fragments and crystals and quest materials in your inventory will disappear. Oh, so you gotta use them before they're gone, huh? Got you, got you. After Act 2 opens up, Traveler can obtain Glimmering Essence through the Testing Ground Challenge. Ooh, ooh, we have something. This is on Christmas? Okay. And then Act 3 opens, um, three days after Christmas, we get Warm Essence. And then Act... Act 4... Get miraculous essence. Uh, these essence will be exchanged for rewards in the event shop. So it's pretty much the same as the past event with the event shop. Now, except now we have like four types of currency. All right, all right. So the fragments and crystals are all just currency. Okay, got it. Now we got a new weapon, guys. Summit Shaper. Uh, increases shield strain. Wait, is this just the same as Vortex uh, Vanquisher? Scoring hits. It is. It's pretty much the same. It's the same, but sword version. Sure. I have a uh, black sword ready for Albedo, so we'll, we'll we'll just use that for now, I guess. I don't necessarily think we need this, to be honest, because I'm thinking a crit rate sword would be better. <laughs> While the event is available, since a five star will be get a huge drop rate boost what 50 percent, i guess <laughs> right so pretty much okay okay and then we got the freshening desire increase elemental skill damage and skill crit so we do a lot this is energy recharge so pretty good for like a lot of supports that we've used the elemental skill a lot as in like a dps pretty good and i get a can i get a catalyst version or maybe uh a spear version, please. I can use it for its only because I'm I try to main the pillar damage. Uh, create the story quest and receive exclusive sword. Right, right. We know that. Oh, I can use it on hmm, KOMC, but then his ult will be weak. Yeah, so it depends how you wanna do things. The character who equipped this weapon will. Gain a damage bonus dealt via Scarlet Courses. They also deal additional crit damage to enemies in Dragon Spine area. So I guess, yeah. But it doesn't have crit rate. Compared to the Black Sword. And then if the, the character who equips it will accumulate Sheer Code at a slower rate, they'll also gain a crit rate in Dragon Spine. So there's two things. The person who equipped this weapon during an event will deal more damage to enemies in Dragon Spine. The person. Not the character, this is the person. Aside from the festering desire, travelers can obtain snow tomb. Yeah, yeah. We 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 know about this. Now now they're revealing all the information 
that um, if you pay attention to my last video, you would know, right? <laughs> Weapon effects and charge ever frost icicle, and now they're just confirming it. Physical damage one, physical damage as well. They all do the same effects except uh, different type of weapons, right? This one's attack though. This one dropped the icicle. Yeah, they all drop icicles. Just to, I'm just double checking. And we have new artifacts. Apart from weapons, we have new artifact sets. So we talk to Iris, repeat this quest, unlock an all new domain at Dragon Spine Summit, as known as the, the peak. And then challenge the domain to receive new artifact sets. So, uh, cryo set and the hydro set. Go to the next one here. Event wish. And look who we have here. We have Fischl. So we were speculating Bennett and Sucrose. But we did not know who was the, the fourth one. And Fischl. And I would say this is very good for free-to-play players. And um, a lot of the people that don't have them Constellation Max. Because these are very solid four stars. So um, now it's a good time to summon if you're free-to-play. And I'm some, for sure summoning because I want Albedo. And I, can, I guess I can use more of these guys. <laughs> and the wish we get, yeah, so. Yeah. Now we have the update notice. Uh, developers soon perform an update version. If you guys don't know, if you're on PC, pre-installation is out. I finished downloading super quick. Uh, I, I pretty much started it. And then I went to like empty out the laundry. Or like, and then also fill my toilet paper. And I came back, it's done. So after down new version, we're able to experience new content as the uppers update size is rather large. We recommend downloading while you connect it to Wi-Fi or hardwired. Even better. Alright, while the update maintenance is in progress, travel unable to log into the game. Please take note of the update time and schedule crony to progress. Alright, so it begins at 23rd, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Uh, I might have to check in the game time just to make sure what exactly is the date relative to me. But GMT plus 8 should be... And it will take 5 hours. So I'll finish at 11 a.m. Wow, okay. So I don't need to actually need to stay up, per se. We have to close, update the game. You get 300 Primal Gems. Nice, nice. And you got to be ranked level 5. Oh, you got to be ranked level 5 or higher to receive the Primal Gems. All right, so these pretty much we all kind of know. And then we have this tree. You must obtain just awards in return, yeah, right? Queen of Fate, Intertwined Fate, Wing Glider, Weapon Blueprints, and Gadget Prints. New domain, new character. Also new character, but that's for a later time. New weapons, exploration, new sets, new event. And our 1.2 no longer require original resin. I remember I made complaining about it, like, we can't do anything if we have this event, because it goes into that. Good, so now they didn't, they didn't require resin. Uh, so we have another event here. I think that's, maybe I should come to, back to this later. Okay, we'll come back to this later. <laughs> Returnees can get prototype Rancor. I don't really use the sword, so that's fine. I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, at least 14 days since the login. Okay, so you have to ask you not log in 14 days and you come back, you get a free weapon. And Primal Gem and Fragile Res. Oh, okay. Want to bring people back because the new, new update. Got you, guys. So we have four parts in this Fragile Resin and then the Passage of Time. During the event, log in, get Heroes Wit and stuff. And then also, oh, it's like a catch up, catch up event. Double drops. Turning driver will receive three opportunities each day to gain double drops. Oh, okay, okay. Um, fresh fire tree. Sure. <laughs> Automatic condensed resin. And then we have the weapon banner. Uh, but we can we can quickly go over this part. New story quest, right? And then Guan Yu story quest, but that's later. Then we have new world quests, Westering Fang, Weapon Survey, the In the Mountains, a Land of Tomb, Lost in the Snow, and Ah, oh, Fresh Meat. 
By bringing fresh meat, you receive a recipe for a dish. Eat this hearty to gain redis resistance pretty much against the sheer code. And then the new world quest. Turn of the Jade Chamber? Nani? Okay, okay. Fresh the story quest. Fishing for Jade will also be available at a later date. So that'll be probably when on you. Oh, okay. So it ties into her. New commission missions. Flora fresh. Fresh flora. Emergency supplies. Only half frozen. Eat while it's hot. Nice. New other new content. New monsters. The Cryo Samatro. Ice Shield Hilatro Guard. Cryo Hilatro Grenade Grenader. Ice Shield Wall Militer. Frost Arm Lavacher. Oh, that's the bigger one. Cryo Sinin Mage. Cryo Sinin and Rune Grader. New animals. No boar. Do we not get raw meat? Do we get frozen meat? Cryo Crystal Fly and Snow Fox. New recipe. Universal Peace. Guan Yu Guba. Uh, Wingy Guba. Sunshine Spread and Goulash. Harvestable Resources. Star Silver and Chilled Meat. Ah, that's what it is. Chilled Meat. That's from. That's most likely from the Snow Boar and the Snow Fox. New achievements unlocked. Yes, yes, we'll take those. New name cards. Interesting. We have Ganyu, Albedo, of course. Travel notes. These are probably regarding with this. And this is the Hypostasis Symphony. Spiral Abyss. <gasps> okay, okay. Characters on the field will continue to accumulate sheer code. And will continually lose HP after sheer code reaches... On floor 9? Whoa. Whoa, they changed this too. Whoa, floor 12 is geo damage. Wait a minute. So they, they redid the whole thing. Wait. So the ice stage is now at floor 9. Floor 10 also have ice. But there's also be a warming Sealy. Hold on. There will also be a Rune Brazer on the view. While Rune Brazer is activated, getting close to it will reduce your code. Okay. And at floor 11, you probably take Engulfing Storm, which continues to drain your elemental energy until inflicted electro is removed. So you get shock and increased cryo damage. <gasps> but 412? Gotta go Geo now. Dude, I'm gonna be top tier. Oh, snaps. <laughs> All right. Oh my god, I'm excited for this part. <laughs> add private chat with friends. Add function to edit friends' names. Camera. Travel log. Camera adjustment. Portrait to the archive system. Right, right. Add the uh, option to repeat a domain challenge. Yes. Acquainted Fates. Oh yeah, those free-to-play players. Yeah. Um, uh, and non-free-to-play, all, all alike. Add controller. I don't use controllers, but you can edit vibrations now. Add new function battle pad animation skip. Autoplay and NPC autoplay dialogue. Add new weapon details displayed to the weapon wish, wish screen. Traveler in details about four-star weapons with boost, drop wave boosts. So they changed the display. And new, oh yeah, okay. Adjustments. Optimize the Paimon Bargain page in the shop. Purchase with Paimon had to be moved to the last tab. Interesting. Okay. Optimize domain with dro instant drops. Optimize co-op. Host can disband the co-op group now. Oh, so you don't have to like leave the game and come back in the game. Both domains can both quit co-op anytime while affecting other travelers in game. All right. Other. Adjusted voiceover character page. Um... Characters profile, standardized description, and infusion effects in some characters and mechanics. Ching, uh, let's see. After casting Skeller while Skeller's present, Ching's weapon will gain electro infusion for five seconds. Did it just change? Okay. Within five seconds of recasting while in present, Ching normal charge attack will be converted to electro. After casting, while they just reword it. Kaching will gain an electro infusion. So they're combining it. So it will do physical and electro. Interesting. Alright, so now we have this releases the intense flame to fire damage. The flame converge into a weapon summoning a phoenix, blah 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 blah. I don't know I don't know the loop very much, so I'm looking at it. So it changed all normal charge and plunging attacks to pyro. Instead, now it converges to the weapon and then you get pyro infusion. Right. The phoenix explodes, reaching its destination, causing a large amount of AoE pyro damage. 
So you actually don't do pyro damage anymore. Instead, it just straight up explodes. Okay. I don't know if that's like a nerf or a buff. Like, it'll do the... You can't run, like, full pyro if you want to do DPS the Luke anymore, but, um, interesting. Alright, so this is the original AoE in front of him that deals crowd damage after sort delay, da 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 you get, I, I know this part, okay. Causing cryo circular delay in front of him that deals crowd damage after sort delay, will, cryo explosion will collect in the frost field within, which all still will be infused with cryo. Infused? So we just become pyro instead. I mean cryo instead. So you lose that attacking thing. Okay. I'm not sure about that. So this one pyro damage is now infused with. Will gain 15 pyro damage bonus. And their weapon will be infused with pyro. Dude this infusion is kind of weird. It, can't, it feels like it does the same thing. But I'm not sure. <laughs> Okay, the searing. Okay, no, you still, you, your blade still infused with pyro. So they pretty much just changed the wording. Okay, never mind. They just changed the wording. Everything's the same. They just changed the wording. Uh, update description passive, adding silver sword to the list of veins. Okay. So Ningua can see more now. And it also changed that the hydro damage cannot be overwritten by any other elemental infusions. Yeah, they just changed the wording because you're still in infused. You're now infused. I don't know if that means that you still do physical and pyro or just straight up pyro. But, it, it, yeah. Adjust the daily rotation domain forgery and mastery from Sunday to Saturday. Wars will not change. Okay, so they kind of swap things around. On Sunday, the drop will type will no longer be random. Instead, all three types of drops will now be available for travelers to select. Oh, we can select now. Oh, okay. You can choose which one. Nice. So now people, instead of avoiding Sunday altogether, you can just do it on Sunday and then you can get either or. That's good. Now, we do have the event wish here. Skyward Atlas, I have two of them ready. And then we have the sword and then sacrificial um, weapons. And I'm guessing here. Sacrificial sword fragments, which I don't. I think is kind of useless. Stringless, it's pretty nice. Phonious Lance, if you want to do energy recharge. Grace, Claymore, sword, okay. Phonious stuff. There's no Felonious Catalyst though, but yeah. But yeah, dude, I'm excited. Uh, Geo? Geo getting a Abyss buff, Kappa? But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I'll be streaming a lot of Genshin, dropping when it's, uh, I'm going to be streaming when it drops and everything. Uh, I took the day off, so I'm, I'm ready with any time. For the, for the, so I'll see you guys, check out my socials down below, and with that, later days, okay?